A young man once wrote, Science will drive away the gloomy power of superstition which now oppresses the world. The man, known simply as Johann, would go on to discover something so fundamental he would one day be called the father of genetics. Johann was born in 1822 in the Czech Republic. He was raised to value both hard work and education. As a child, he opted to receive half rations to afford his schooling. Thus, he often went to bed hungry to satisfy his thirst for knowledge. In 1843, he joined an Augustinian monastery to continue his education. When he joined, he was required to adopt a new name. He chose Gregor. It took Gregor Mendel several years to establish himself as a priest, but all the while he continued his quest for scientific knowledge, and in 1854 he began to experiment. Mendel wondered how traits were passed down through generations. To find out, he needed to perform breeding experiments. After failed trials with bees and mice, he settled on the innocuous pea plant as his study organism. Mendel was granted a small garden at the monastery, and after eight years he grew more than 24,000 plants. His time was spent pollinating and tracking the appearance of traits through generations. One trait that he studied was the color of the seeds that the plants produced. He knew some plants produced only green seeds, while others produced only yellow. He started his experiments by cross-pollinating the two. He found that the first generation was all yellow. It appeared that the green peas were gone. However, when he allowed that generation to self-pollinate, he found a second generation of yellow and green. The green peas were back, but there were nearly three times as many of the yellow. Mendel speculated that the yellow color was dominating. Mendel performed more experiments focusing on different traits, and each of these, the dominating form seemed to appear at a ratio of three to one in the second generation. Further experiments led Mendel to realize that the progeny of the recessive form always exhibited the recessive form, whereas the progeny of the dominant form could exhibit dominant or recessive forms. This led Mendel to conclude that the 3 to 1 ratio was actually a 1 to 2 to 1 ratio. Mendel pioneered the use of mathematics to describe patterns of heredity. What he stumbled on has become scientific law. Today we know it as Mendelian inheritance. I am convinced that it will not be long before the whole world acknowledges the results of my work. When Mendel presented his paper in 1866, it was well received, but the audience was small. Mendel soon moved on to new experiments and increased his duties at the monastery. But four years before his death, a book was published that would lead to Mendel's rediscovery. Fox's book on hybrids mentioned Mendel's work. The book was disseminated more widely. One copy even landed on Charles Darwin's bookshelf. Unfortunately for him, he never read the parts pertaining to Mendel's work. It wasn't until 20 years later that scientists rediscovered Mendel's work through Fox's book. What they found there laid the foundation for a new field of research, genetics. <laughs>